8.39 a.m. August 13, 2024. This will be audio only for YouTube.com forward slash at symbol I-A-M-W-A-D-E-H-E-I-N-E-M-A-N. I signed my Prius over to a guy named Steve yesterday. Stopped at his place in Orn, and uh, he had signed the mobile home over to me in 2019 and said I didn't owe the balance on it. But in good faith, uh, there was a balance, so I thought it was appropriate to sign my Prius over to him, and he agreed to that yesterday, so I signed it over to him. Uh, I need to charge up the battery. It was down when I left it up in Wisconsin on the 9th, and uh, when I picked it back up, the battery had uh, just charged, so... Um, I need to charge it back up in here, and then I'm going to drop the Prius off to his place in Oren, and do not trust anyone named Steve that claims it's him. Uh, it'll be a, there'll be a fraud probably trying to claim that it's his that I'm dropping it off to him. So uh, don't trust that person. It's not a Smith, and I never killed anyone named Smith. There was. A, a guy that married my ex fiance named last name Smith, but I n never had a problem with him. And as far as I know, they're both still alive. So, um, it, uh, don't, don't, uh, believe anything anybody says about me. <laughs> Pretty much everything, uh, these people, well, all the lie stagers and the people that claim some connection to me, um, that have not had any connection to me. Last night, um, I was in Old Wine for a while, as I noted. I went to Reedland Bank, then to Oren to talk to that guy uh, about the Prius and see if he would agree to take that as the balance. Even though he'd forgiven the balance, I felt in good faith it you know, it was appropriate to give him something of equal value. It's actually worth a little bit more than what I owed him. It's worth probably 500 more than I owed him on the mobile home. And the uh, then I went to Old Wine and stopped a couple of places, got some food, drinks, a drink, just not non-alcoholic drinks. And then uh, shot baskets for an hour or two uh, on Lake Owain, east of Lake Owain. Didn't meet anybody, didn't talk to anybody. A guy drove by in a golf cart that seemed to be maybe trying to look like my photographs, my new pictures on x.com forward slash WADES2ND. Uh, so if, if it's any of those people, do not. Those are criminals. Those are thieves. Those are frauds. Those are liars. Anyone trying to claim that those photos are them other than me, they're always me. Look at the lighting. That's what I'm trying to say. When you click on the pinned post uh, where I say new, new pictures, it says four different lighting conditions. That's why my face looks different. Look at the lighting conditions. Outdoor lighting, under my parents' deck lighting, in my parents' home lighting, in the van lighting. That's what I was trying to show there while I was at my parents yesterday. Those are all four different lighting conditions. I don't know what criminal is trying to claim some of those pictures of them again. That is a criminal. I'm 52 years old. All those pictures are me. You can cl plainly see they're all different lighting conditions. The indoor pictures, I always look younger because you're not getting all the outdoor light. You're not getting the scattered light from everywhere. You're getting uh, more, uh, and my eyes are more relaxed indoors because of the lighting conditions, etc. So, you know, you're just seeing my face as well. So you're not seeing my body because I have, I'm holding the phone uh, two feet from my body and all the pictures you clearly see I'm holding it in my arm. So, you know, I don't understand why people can't put these things together just because there's a fraud been trying, smooth talking criminal fraud that's been trying to do this for years. He's so good at deceiving people, you know, because he's thinner than me. I don't know who he is. I, my body is always big. You know, I'm a big guy, a strong guy. You know, he's a scrawnier guy, apparently. Uh, 
don't know if it's my neighbor to the south or if it's this guy in a golf cart or who it is. But they all try and pretend to be me when they're not. So all the photos are me, all 12 of them. They're all in that pinned post uh, on my x.com forward slash WADS2ND. Click on the pinned post where it says new pictures, 8, was it 8 and 11, I think. And click on it and then click on all the links at the bottom. Those are all me. All 12 pictures are me. All lighting conditions, all 12 pictures are me. You got to click on it and see all of them. I think I accidentally left part of the one of the other posts at the top. I should just it should just say all 12 new pictures and it says uh, something like 9 to 12 or uh, 5 to 8. I think it says 5 to 8 of 12. It should just say all 12 instead. I didn't when I copied and pasted that from my own post, I didn't delete the part that I should have, but I says, I just woke. My voice is really low and gravelly, you know. <laughs> so I'm in the van. I slept in here again last night, as I did last night in the side yard beside the, the uh, or this morning. Slept in here um, in the side yard beside the mobile home. Last night I pulled in after I got back from shooting baskets in Old Wine. Stopped at uh, Quick Star in, in Old Wine and then uh, Dollar General in Fairbank before I got home. Then I parked on the driveway, and then when people drove by, I was hitting the lights so people could see the brake lights so people could see the Prius illuminated behind me because I was towing Prius all day yesterday uh, just to prove that that's what was going on the whole time. That on the 11th, when I went to go get the Prius and the van I picked up on the night so to go retrieve the prius with the tow dolly so um that's why i was towing the prius around yesterday just to prove that that was what happened so because the frauds were staging lies and i don't know what lies they're staging so this is my way of showing you that this that my story is the truth and i had to get new plates on the night buy new plates five bucks for that because the fraud stole my uh rear plate on the it was it the first of august whenever i went down to get the john deere zero turn mower for my father um that's when uh they stole my rear plate after 8 a.m so um uh, I'm still here, half mile north of Fairbank, Iowa, on V68 in the white van now. Uh, that's primarily what I'll be driving. Uh, now that uh, Prius I'll be giving away today uh, to settle uh, a good faith debt, even though he had already uh, said I didn't owe him anything and signed the mobile home over on in 2019. Um I felt in good faith that I owed him something and a value equal to what he gave me. So that's what I'm doing. And he was happy with the deal. So uh, I'm glad that's off my mind now. So when I think about him or have, when I see him around that, I feel like we're on even ground now. So we had a good conversation yesterday. He talked about dancing. I don't dance. Uh, that wasn't me talking about dancing. That was him. I don't get shots on my knees. Uh, that's my mother gets shots on her knees. Uh, I don't have that kind of pain in my knees. So I was shooting baskets yesterday, running around the basketball court. I don't get, don't, and I'm not on any medications. Uh, there was an indication from one of the cashiers yesterday about I talk really quiet. I don't know if they're talking about me or the person that is claiming to have some connection to me and is talking really quiet to me. There's no one that has any connection to me. There's no conversations going back and forth. They claim to talk really quiet or whatever. It's just staged lies. And if they're talking about me talking quiet now, like when I'm calm, yeah, there's variation in whether I talk in my normal voice or I get have PTSD, there's a whole range of, you know, intensity that 
be, that's that comes into it when I start getting PTSD. It just escalates to the point where I'm yelling, top of my voice. But I don't have any connection to anybody. So if they say I'm yelling at someone, I'm just venting at home by myself because of surveillance. They know and they hear and they can record me venting and then do their AI garbage with my voice. You know, they can make a make a make up anything with someone's voice now. Once they train AI on it, they can it can sound like your voice saying something you never said. So um, you have to be aware of those people. And anyone claiming any connection to me other than my parents has been lying for five to 10 years. And I don't know who they are. So no connection to any nurse, no connection to anyone named Jesse. There's a, whether it's female or male, there's indication of a male motorcycle rider named Jesse or fast car driver named Jesse or a female named Jesse. There's no connection to any one named Jesse. I've never had sex with anyone named Jesse. I've never had a romantic uh, interaction with anyone named Jesse or Jess or Jessica. Well, Jessica in high school, I had kind of a romantic thing, and uh, we almost. Uh, like had a date after that, I think. And I'm not sure. In 1991, we may have almost had a date again. I don't remember. But she was dating a guy from my high school named Tommy. Tommy, who kind of tried to bully me, but uh, it wasn't really. Uh, he tried to, but it just didn't work. So there was a couple of guys that tried to bully me a little bit in high school, but I was too big as a freshman, so. Um, and I'm, I was a four sport athlete. So, you know, I'm not complaining that I got bullied in high school. Uh, I walked around with a grin on my face and didn't talk much because I didn't know how to have conversations in high school. I didn't know how to s socialize in high school. You know, they could, they say I, they would have said I was shy or, reserved or whatever but i just didn't know how to talk to people in high school and that was carried into my 20s you know i had i had confidence and i had in, in myself but I, I didn't have the ability to talk to females especially in high school or in my 20s until i started drinking my 20s and then as soon as i did that when i was 20 i was uh in fact i had a girlfriend in, when i was 19 uh, you know, a, not a month, it went like six months or more, six to nine months relationship. And then after that, I dated from 1991 to 2015 and had no problems with women after that. So it just took me drinking in my early 20s to start to talk to women. And then once I established relationships, I had no problems meeting women after that. The only problem that's been in the last 10 years is people sabotaging my life and staging lies and breaking into my home and stealing my life and my life going downhill because of that. And there's several reasons why I, can't, I don't want to date right now, but and I haven't in the last few years. And I want to. It's just I don't feel comfortable dating under these conditions. So which I've expressed before with all the stage lies and, and you know, the situation with my not having running water and my two, uh, the two uh, fake teeth I've had since high school came out and I haven't been able to get those replaced. Though, you know, those were created, those spaces in my teeth were created by braces. They weren't, Nobody knocked my teeth out. It was indicated somebody punched me and knocked my teeth out. Another stage lie by cowards. Nobody punched me in the face. Guy hit me in the top of the head at a gas station that rode a motorcycle um, two, three years ago now. Probably like almost three years ago now. I don't remember. But um, I didn't want to hit him back because I didn't want to get in any legal trouble. And... They, they, between Quick Star and the local police, they said they lost the footage of him hitting me in the head, which kind of hard to take. But, um, 
anyway um 10.7 inch hands green eyes not blue 52 years old six foot one still here half mile north of fairbank iowa on v68 i'll be uh again trying to establish a home in northwest iowa where i bought the tax property uh this will be a second attempt because of uh the frauds i have to try and get something done with it um I want to live there. So that's the intent. That was always been the intent. Um, no, no friendship since 2016, no date romance relationship in nine years. It's August 13th, 2024, no sexual contact in over six years. Uh, never been with a male transgender child. Never will be. I've only ever been interested in natural females. And I've only ever been with adult females sexually. So, Whatever the stage lies, uh, I've never killed anybody. I've never raped anybody. I've never pointed a gun at anybody. I've never taken a weapon at anybody. I've never uh, abducted anyone. I've never imprisoned anyone. I've never uh, tied anyone up. All these things have been indicated, and it's never happened. So I'm not, not a criminal like that. I haven't done anything wrong. And whatever has been indicated that done wrong is staged lies by the criminals when I'm either gone from the property or them stealing devices of mine or swapping devices of mine and then putting something on the device after they had it. Uh, you know, you can't trust someone that steals a device of yours, no matter who they are, whatever, you know, person or group or organization they're from. You cannot trust someone if they steal somebody's device from their home. So, anyway, signing off August 13th, Half Mile North, Fairbank, Iowa, on VC State in my white van, towing the Prius yet. And that will be given to, again, a guy named Steve. Do not trust anyone who claims it's them uh, for the mobile home that he had given to me in 2019 and forgave the balance. So, I'm giving him this to settle that good debt in good faith because I've always thought about that and and felt it's appropriate and he was happy with the deal so that'll happen today August 13th 2024 signing off youtube.com forward slash at symbol I am W-A-D-E-H-E-I-N-E-M-A-N audio only as, and as usual <laughs>